real GDP growth for the current financial year 2024-25 is projected at 7.2%. Let me repeat, the GDP growth that we are now projecting for the current financial year 2024-25 is 7.2%, with Q1 at 7.3%, Q2 at 7.2%, Q3 at 7.3% and Q4 at 7.2%. The risks are evenly balanced. I would now like to focus on inflation. CPI headline inflation softened further during the months of March and April, though persisting food inflation pressures offset the gains of disinflation in core and deflation in fuel groups. Despite some moderation, pulses and vegetables inflation remained firmly in double digits. Vegetable prices are experiencing a summer uptick following a, following a, a shallow winter season correction. The deflationary trend in fuel was driven primarily by the LPG price cuts in early March. Core inflation softened for the 11th consecutive month since June 2023. Services inflation moderated to a historic low and uh, goods inflation remained contained. The exceptionally hot summer season and the low reservoir levels may put stress on the summer crop of vegetables and fruits. The rubby arrivals of pulses and vegetables need to be carefully monitored. Global food prices have also started inching up. Prices of industrial metals have registered double-digit growth in the current calendar year so far. These trends, if sustained, could accentuate the recent uptick in input cost conditions for farms. On the other hand, the forecast of above-normal monsoon bodes well for the Kharif season. Wheat procurement has surpassed last year's level. In fact, the buffer stocks of wheat and rice are well above the norms. These developments could bring respite to food inflation pressures, particularly in cereals and pulses. The outlook on crude oil prices remains uncertain due to geopolitical tensions. Assuming a normal monsoon, CPI inflation for 2024-25 is projected at 4.5%, with Q1 at 4.9%, Q2 at 3.8%, Q3 at 4.6% and Q4 at 4.5%. The risks are evenly balanced. So thus, as you can see, the GDP growth projection, we have increased it from 7%, which we gave out in the last MPC meeting. We have increased it to 7.2%. And the inflation projection, the average for the year, uh, we have retained it at 4.5% uh, as, as it was in the last MPC meeting. And uh, I have explained there are good reasons why we have increased the GDP uh, forecast, the GDP projection for the current year.